Well, hello there, folks. A happy Thursday to you. I um, hope it's well where you are. It's certainly well here. Day seven of my Tenerife jaunt. Oh, my God, it's passing too quick. Today's a special day. We've not met them yet, but our two pals are coming over. We don't normally do this. We normally holiday on our own, but we've got two pals for the second week. Uh, that's uh, young Paul and Lee. They're both coming. Oh, yes, they'll be in the next couple of hours. Right. I'm doing this one a bit earlier today because I've got a lot on today. Um, news-wise, again, I'm struggling to find news. There's very little happened. The biggest news I would suggest is what I heard last night on the news, on the BBC News at 6 o'clock. I believe they're coming home, aren't they? Is it young Sarah Sharif's a dad, um, a stepmother and a dad's brother all given themselves in in Pakistan and are on the way back on a plane? I believe they got back at 7 o'clock last night. I don't know that it's been confirmed yet. Well, it will have been confirmed. I don't know of it. I've not followed today's news. As I said, I'm doing an early one here. But really, really pleased they've got them now. Um, and I hope they throw the book at them for whatever they may have done on that fateful day. It was five weeks ago. I nearly died when it was five weeks ago. But also previously to that, because I believe there's lots and lots of historical or historic injuries on the little girl, which is a great shame. It's only a pity, as I say, they can't do the granddad who uh, hid the other five kids in Pakistan, and also this English-based Pakistani lawyer who told them to run. Um, I would hope further down the line they at least get the lawyer, even though I'm sure they won't get the granddad. I bet they don't, but I'd love them to. Anyway, they've got them. We'll see how it goes over the coming weeks. I also heard yesterday, is it Jean Bott? I always thought, sorry, I called Jean Bott. I think they pronounced it Jean Bolt has died. The old matriarch, is that the right word? I think it is, from Bread. She played the mother there, and very good too. Very good actress, fine comedic actress, absolutely excellent. She's died. I didn't get her age. She must be getting on a bit, but she was fantastic in that show. It was a good show. She was really good in it, so sad to see her go. And then I've not got much else. I wanted to give me two pence. I've got an horse racing subject. I see the Racing Post have been running something for a few weeks now where they're looking at getting the best horses of all time, be it on the flat or over the jumps, put him in a competition together. Uh, it's one horse against three or four others, and they go from round one to, I think, semi-finals and then to finals. They pick the five now. I believe the favourite is easily Kato Star to win it. They think uh, it's going to be voted the greatest horse of all time. I'll be gutted if that's the case. I've got two for it, and they're both in the final. One would be Denman. Wonderful horse. The Tankers was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful horse. I had the greatest day of my life at steeplechasing, watching Denman destroy Cato Star. Everybody's got Cato as the better horse. It was the classier horse in some ways, but I'd nowhere near the guts of Denman. And the thing is, Denman, for, for many a month, had been uh, ill. I think he had a fibrillating heart, and he was never the same again after the, um, they realised that was its problem. Yet he still won fantastic races. A brilliant, brilliant horse. Um... And also in the final, the final five is Frankel. To my mind, the greatest horse of all time. I hope Frankel absolutely romps it. I don't think it will. It isn't because Cato Star's the favourite, but I think more people nowadays, the real racing enthusiasts, the more for jumps racing, national one racing, they are flat. Never used to be that way when I was a kid. It's definitely gone that way the last 10, 15, 20 years, I feel. And I feel because of that, Cato is going to win it. I hope it doesn't happen. I won't be um, putting a vote. Well, I don't even know where they're voting. But I hope to goodness it's Frankel. The horse of a lifetime. The 2000 Guineas is the greatest single performance by any horse I've ever seen in my life. It was an unbeaten Group 1 winner, multi-Group 1 winner. A fantastic horse who all but two times, I think, destroyed every field that came across. And it had pro probably, for me, the greatest training of all time of the great Henry Cecil. Fantastic horse. Fantastic trainer, fantastic career. I hope it wins. I'm sure it won't, but I hope I'm proved wrong. Right, last night, how did it go? Oh, it was a cracker. We went out to Los Cristianos. We caught the old bus again because it was nice and cheap and it's a nice little run. You can have a good look around. It's a lot easier than a taxi. No, we're not skinflints because we came back in a taxi. Don't worry about that. We went to the old... Somebody said there's a Mongolian barbecue buffet there. And we thought, we went something like that in Turkey about five or six years ago. It's since closed down and we loved it. It's one of them where you pick your own meats or seafood. Not that I do seafood myself. You pick your own meat or meats. You pick loads and loads and loads of veg. 
they fire it all up in a hot wok and fry it all up for you. Um, and then you pick a sauce that you'd like, like a black bean sauce or, or a teriyaki, whatever it may be. And it's absolutely wonderful. And some would say extremely healthy. We had that and absolutely loved it. Then we went to, to the vault in Los Cristianos and we've seen a fantastic group called Black Hole. We've seen them down here when we've been before, um, just at the bottom of the hill here. I can't think what the place is called, although I know it well. It's the place with the motor cars and the, the Daytona. Is it called Daytona? And the bikes outside, I think it's called Daytona, but I could be wrong. We've seen them there a few times a while ago. Um, we've seen them last night. Absolutely fantastic. They do uh, some great songs. Favourite of mine that they do would be Freebird, and they did it. It brought the house down, as it always does. Absolutely brilliant. But that, folks, is the end of my message for today. I'm on a quick one, because as I say, we're meeting Paul and Leader in the next hour or so. We're off to the afternoon show that old Shelley is putting on. We've not seen her this old holiday and she's my favourite singer on the island. So I'm looking forward to that. So it's an afternoon extravaganza for us. I know Paul and Leader will be expecting us out tonight as well. I don't know if we'll be up to it, but we will do our best. No doubt we'll make it. We always tend to. So it's going to be an afternoon and evening session. Oh, I'm going to be in a bad way tomorrow, folks. But... I've got to do it. I'm just going to soldier on. I'll do the best I can. I can't do no better than that. Anyway, see you all soon. Well, see you all on Friday. And I hope you enjoy the video. And again, if you like or dislike, I'm told I must ask this all the time. I'm only going to ask now and again. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Doesn't matter which. I believe it helps the channel because YouTube push it out to more people if people do a thumbs up or thumbs down. So give us whichever. I won't be offended either way, I promise you. I hope you all have a great day. I really do.